If I could only choose one Visual Studio extension to enhance the web developer experience, it would probably be Web Essentials. It's this one here, Web Essentials 2017. It's created by Mads Christensen. He's a program manager on the Visual Studio extensibility team, and he loves to create new extensions. If you look further down the list, you can see it has these included extensions. Web Essentials is a bundle of 22 extensions, each one focused on enhancing the Visual Studio tools to help write web applications faster. In this tip, I'll look at how to install Web Essentials. That's easy. You go to the online section, search for Web Essentials and click on the download button and then restart Visual Studio. I've already done that. What I wanna point out is there are two separate ways of thinking about Web Essentials. There's the bundle, you can see it right here and I've already installed that. So if I wanna uninstall all 22 tools, I can click on the uninstall button here. But each of these included extensions also is listed separately as a separate extension. So I'm gonna look at two of them. I'll look at add new file and CSS tools. Here I can see the add new file extension. And here is the CSS tools extensions. Let me show you how both of these work. The first extension I'll look at is called the add file or add empty file extension. It's a quick way of adding new files to any project. So you choose a folder or a project. In this case, I'll pick the project name, basic core application, hold down the shift key and then tap the F2 key. That brings up this dialog, the add new file dialog. It already knows which folder I have selected in the Solution Explorer. So it's going to create the file underneath that, like this. I've typed in the file name, I click on add file, and I get a mostly empty file. In this case, it has a little bit of boilerplate HTML in it. Another way of doing this, which I don't think is quite as convenient as using the keystrokes, but I'll show it to you. Right click, choose add new empty file. This time for my extension, I'll just use htm. And you see this time it is truly empty. It also knows how to work with folders. For this example, I'm going to put a brand new CSS file in the project. And I want that to go under WW root and I want it to go underneath this CSS folder. So I'll choose the CSS folder and then press shift F2. I'll add a new subfolder and then a slash and then my file. So it did the right thing. It created the folder underneath CSS. And now that we've seen how the empty file feature work, let's look at one of the other extensions that I like in Web Essentials, which is the CSS tools. So let's go ahead and add some CSS. I'll add a background color. So what I want you to see, the enhancement you're getting from this tool is the little orange block here that previews the color from this background color. Let me do another one. This time I'll use a hexadecimal value. Like that. And it's showing me a preview here. Now there's my new color. Now this is another nice feature of this tool as I can darken or lighten my hex colors. I do that by putting my caret inside the hex value, then holding down the control key and the shift key together. And then I can tap the up and down arrows on my keyboard. So I'll tap up and you see it's lightening the color. And if I press the down arrow, it darkens the value. This also works with other numeric values. Let me put in a font size. I'll do 3.8M. Move my cursor into the numeric value. Control shift up arrow increases the point version of this. So it's at 4.1. Now I'll go down to 4.0. If this didn't have a decimal place, it was just a whole number like this. And when I use the up and down arrows, it increments that value. That's my look at Web Essentials. There are lots more extensions bundled with it that I don't have time to look at in this video. I encourage you to explore them when you have time. Also, I'll look at some of the others elsewhere in this course.